All right, boys and girls, here we are. May daily math day 18. Number one, an ewe weighs 145 kilograms. A horse weighs 550 kilograms. How much heavier is the horse than the ewe? So there we go. We kind of have the comparison problem, right? So if we're going to compare one to another and we know that one weighs more than the other, uh, to find the difference then, the difference would be a subtraction problem or how much heavier, whether it's lighter or heavier, it's still going to be the subtraction problem. So we are going to take 550 minus the 145. Okay, more on the floor, borrow from next door. 10 minus 5 is 5, 4 minus 4, numbers the same, zeros again, 5 minus 1 is 4, and the difference would be 405 kilograms, okay? Number 2, write three division equations with a quotient of 6. So again, it's going to be a, a number divided by a number equals 6. And so there we go. We kind of see it like that, right? Now, let's just put some numbers in there. How about two, four, six? Okay, so now, and I just picked any numbers there, it's fine. Uh, now we work backwards. So this number divided by this number equals this number. So this number times this number should equal that number. So what is six times two? There's 12, okay. Six times four is 24, 12 twice, 12 plus 12 is 24. Six times six equals 36, which is also three twelves. All right, number three. Now you could have had other answers on there as well, right? Just make sure when you go through that this number times that number equals that number, okay? So that could have been really confusing if you would have started off with say, uh, let's just say 13. Well, 13 divided by what is six? Well, there's not a really good answer there, right? So think about moving her backwards on that. So let's go ahead. Um, sheep at Strawberry Hill Farm. How many sheep live at Strawberry Hill Farm? So each of those uh, equals five sheep. So on field one, there are one, two, three, four times the five for each one equals 20. Field two, there's two times five, which equals 10. And field three, there's three times five is 15. So then we add those all together. Okay, so again, field one, there are four sheep. Okay, and each of those is worth five, so there's 20, because four times five equals 20. On field two, uh, there are two sheep, so that would be 10. And field three, there are three sheep, so that would be 15. Okay, so how many are there all together? We have to add up our three parts, and there are 45 sheep. Okay, uh, number four. There we go. Um, clock one shows the start time. Draw hands on clock two to show what time it will be in 45 minutes. So I see that it is nine. 10. Okay. So the first clock says 9, 10. And the second clock then in 45 minutes, let's go ahead and count 45 minutes for when it stops. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So now the hour hand is just short of the 10. The minute hand points all the way to the 11, which is 55 minutes. Okay? And number five. Circle all the fractions that are less than one half. Okay, so we have four over six. Well, half of six is three. Okay, three is less than four. That means this one is greater than, so it's not four sixths. One eighth, half of eight is four. One is less than four, so one eighth 
would be less than one half. Because what I'm doing is I'm getting this into an equivalent fraction. So 3 6 is equivalent to one half. 4 8 is equivalent to one half. So let's look at one third. Now we going to be really tough because with three equal parts, you can't really just divide that three and a half easily, can we? But we know that one third, if we're looking at a chart, okay, there's a half, right? Now if we split the same thing up into three, one third is less than one half. Uh, let's look at four, uh, we did four, six, one eighth, one third. How about two over one? Well, that's larger, that's two. Two divided by one is two, so it is not less than a half. Three eighths, again, we kind of can look at the three eighths with what we did up here. Half eight is four, so the equivalent fraction to one half using eighths will be four eighths. Three eighths is less than four eighths, so three eighths is less than one half. Uh, let's look at one fourth. Half of four is two. So two-fourths would be equivalent to one-half. Uh, one-fourth is less than two-fourths, so one-fourth would, would fit that. And four over two, four divided by two equals two. Two is not less than one-half, it is larger than one-half. So there we are, boys and girls, there you go. You got day 18. See you next time.